clipping XREFs, we can clip or a crop a particular XREF and turn it into a subregion. And uh, what will happen then is all the material or the objects outside of that boundary will not be shown. So we can go up to clip and the first thing it says is select object to clip and we're gonna have to come in here and say well I wanna uh, pick on this particular boundary and or this particular X reference actually and we wanna generate a new boundary okay and then we get the types of boundaries we get polygon rectangular uh, and I'll go with rectangulars uh, a boundary and it says what's your first corner now I want to go and just let's say just on the tennis courts and I'm going to drag it around my tennis courts and it gets rid of everything in that X reference around the tennis courts I can actually do that again I can clip I can pick on let's say my this one here I'll say on uh, new new boundary I'll go with rectangular and I'll go right on the tennis courts again and now we're see how we're clipping all that out and uh, and I can actually still clip even more if I wanted to I can clip out on this one and generate a new boundary and I'm gonna pick rectangular and I'm gonna pick a little bigger this time and you can see how now it clipped everything outside of those my my last one was a little bit bigger and uh, so now I can clip all those things out if we want to do any kind of editing to this to this X reference uh, we uh, we need to to uh, do the editing by the frames and uh, so the best way we can do that is for X clip frame and we set a new value to it and right now zero means that they're that it's disabled you cannot uh, select the frames and uh, if we want to go to um, the default value of uh, well it is the default value is zero but if we want to go to one then we can display it and plot it so I'm gonna go to one and now you can see the frames and we can edit those frames right now so I can actually come in here and I could tweak the frames for example uh, in this case when the frames are on so uh, we we do the uh, X clip frames allow us then to uh, change the frame edit the frame and how the frame is displayed and also the uh, the X clip is on and off has uh, applications for 3d so we we uh, don't necessarily need to play with that so a lot of times we might just clip a big uh, site plan like what we have down to a smaller uh, site plan and so that we don't have all that data showing so clipping X references uh, is a very easy way to uh, uh, not display all the information around in our in our drawing that are x referenced in